Hey everyone, this is Jonathan with Kingston Astrophotography. Today I wanted to talk with you about tripods and specifically something that I think I figured out. Um, right now, it's 2021 due to COVID starting in 2020, tripods are very hard to find. They're out of stock, they're two to three months on back order, especially if you're looking for the Skywatcher or the Ioptron Skyguider equipment. The mounts are just now showing up a little bit more. Um, that's about it. Also too, tripods for telescopes are very expensive. To me, they seem expensive. Um, you wanna get a good tripod, something that doesn't bounce around a lot. So. I think I've figured out a hack, um, but I don't know yet. I'm going to do it with you guys, let you guys watch me through the process of what I thought of that may work. Um, so let's get started. I have a good tripod here. It's K and F concept. It's just a regular camera tripod. The K and F concept, you can find them for about a hundred bucks or cheaper, 115 somewhere around that price range, between 80 and $150. Uh, what I really like about it is it is lightweight. It can um, retract into about 12 to 15 inches, and they are very well made. They're a good tripod, very versatile, but when you're putting the weight that your Sky Guider or Sky Tracker or Star Adventure has, uh, you get a lot of problems. So um, you want to get a really heavy duty, sturdy tripod, especially if you're going to be putting the maximum weight that these mounts can hold. You want to get a tripod that is stable, stuck in the ground. It's not going to move so that when you do adjust things, you're not going to move it around a lot. The biggest annoying thing that I hate is that the tripod is so light. The camera tripods are so light that when I go to put new equipment on, if I bump a leg or if I just put too much force on it, it comes out of alignment. So now I got to get back down, align it, make sure it's all level, and then I can focus on putting the equipment back on that I wanted to. And then I'm even out of alignment with that because lots of times you always want to start with the small millimeter to look uh, where your point is, you center it, and then get bigger focal lengths so that you can zoom in on it. So having the light tripods are a disaster. So what I thought of a contractor's leveling tripod is only $60 and they're available everywhere. What I want to do is see if I can turn this into a tripod that will hold cameras or sky tracking equipment. I've already opened this to look at it so that I can buy parts for this video, uh, but I've not, I've not done anything to it. So right away, I mean, it's, it's light, a whole lot heavier. The con is, is that it is long. It's about 36 inches long when it's collapsed. The great thing is though that I like is it has these spikes on the feet. And even for you to push this into the ground. So if you're in grass, then this would be great. You plant this into the ground once it's level and shouldn't go anywhere. The problem well, the first issue is that this is a 5 8 16 bolt. Uh, most camera gear is either quarter 20 or 3 8 16. So we got to take that out. That's one thing for sure. Another thing is these legs extend very, very far. So that's a problem. So I researched some things, thought of some things. I even had uh, um, my father-in-law gave me some suggestions of what to use. I took his advice and we're going to do this together. Let's get started.
first things first, I want to take this out. I don't need it. Um, this is really easy to take apart. And, and by the way, this is a Bosch leveling tripod. So it's a compact aluminum tripod. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. A home improvement store. Anything. So, I want to take that out. I found that it is a 13, 13 millimeter bolt. Easy. Now, I, I want to put something in here that's going to stop these legs from folding as far out as they can. So I'm going to take all of these out and I'm going to take this completely apart. I got an idea. Okay, so I got all the legs taken off and this is the, the platform piece. And what I want to do is I want to drill a hole so that I can put a nut in here or a bolt, I guess I should say, to press against the leg to keep it from folding all the way out. And then that way too, you can even adjust it. Um, so I was given the advice of buying nut inserts. I got this tool, it's a threaded insert rivet kit. The way this works is just like a rivet, you push this in, you squeeze it, and then this, this squishes down to hold in place. And then you have a threaded hole for whatever you want. So another issue I found is that the tool itself uh, has nothing to is a lot wider than the flange even so it's another problem so I might have to just drill new holes all right so I drilled a new set of holes uh, this time I have them as you can see this is the new hole all right this is the old hole I'm sorry this is a new hole it's a little bit farther away from the edge here um, so I'm gonna see if this works better put the nut rivet on first. I have the nut insert on the tool. I push it in. Okay, so I got the three inserts in. And as I said, it does take a lot of force. Uh, not impossible. Here's, here's a good one. I don't know if you can tell. Um, see how it bubbles and then it fastens and now I have threaded inserts so I can take this knob this is a quarter 20 I can screw it into here keep these in place and if it's long enough it should be able to keep the legs from going all the way out so you have options you can either use a knob like what I have here or you can just buy a quarter 20 bolt. The issue that I'm finding is it's not working as well as I wanted it to, but it does put pressure against the leg, which does make it a little tough to open up. Um, definitely something uh, that I would want to improve. I like the idea, I'll stick with it. What I think I need to do is do something to put a stop on the leg that this hits. Uh, with the leg stock as it is, um, doesn't work that well. So now, to be able to mount your wedge on the top of here, my wife found these at Home Depot. These are a winged bolt, and I got a 3816, two inches long, 
the center hole in here is an inch and a half. Uh, immediately the issue I thought of is how do we constantly keep this centered? And quick fix for that is buy a 3 8 inch and a half washer. So this fits inside. Uh, there's still a, a little bit of wiggle room, but it fits enough to keep the wedge center. And then for the bottom, I bought a big washer so that can't go through the hole. And then you've got something for the wing nut or the wing bolt to press up against. As a start, a very simple way. So we'll put it together and I will show you what it will look like uh, with one of these sky trackers on it. And one thing I noticed too, the difference between this tripod and perhaps a tripod that you get for a heavy weight telescope is these clips they're probably not going to be strong enough to hold 50 to 100 pounds if anyone is considering buying a tripod for that. Uh, I think if you have telescope equipment that would weigh up to 50 pounds total, you're not going to be concerned about um, a cheap hack like this. As I said, for this, the hole here, inch and a half, so I bought a 3 8 inch and a half washer and I bought a, a bunch of them um, so that it can sit inside there. And I don't need all that I bought. I only need a few to keep it centered. And so then I have the big washer that will uh, stop the bolt so that it can pull pressure to wedge it. So basically it's all going to look like that. Now, two inches is obviously way too long. You can either fix that, you get a smaller bolt, or you can just put a some nuts. So I'm gonna put two. And then this way too, I can uh, adjust the distance of the bolt as I need to. So I'll put it, put it through like that. And if you guys, you guys can see, this is what's gonna look like. And I can put it through here, and then we can attach our mount. We do not have a lot of room at all when I put those. Um, nut inserts in so I would suggest you want to get this as center as possible first before you do any modifying if you're going to be doing what I'm doing and then make a mark to know where the inserts can go so that you don't drill the inserts where the wedge is going to sit. There we go. So now You've got a tripod that's much more sturdy and stable, um, and we can we can put everything together. I mean, it holds, it fits all just fine. It's nice height. It's very strong. Um, Another thing you can do to stabilize the legs from moving out, you can make a little platform that can grab onto the legs. I thought of something like that. This was the quickest idea I had. Obviously, I hadn't tested it first until now, recorded myself doing it. A lot of flaws, um, but things I can learn from, things that you guys can try. Maybe you guys have better ideas if this is a problem that you've ran into the problem where we can't find tripods right now. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I will share some videos of me using it and let me know what you guys think.